Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a stop jump button for your jump every second game. So if you're mid-air jumping, you can click stop jump and it will release you and you'll fall back to the ground. This is helpful if players can jump really high and they've gone well above the pad and they want to fall back down. They can just click the jump, stop jump button to fall back down. So today I'll show you how to make that. So first of all, under starter GUI, we'll add a new screen GUI uh, and we will rename this to... Uh, interactable or something like that, interactable GUI. And inside of here we'll add in a text button. Now we'll rename this to stop jump button or something like that. And I'm just going to make it sort of a pinky red colour, a nice, a fairly nice colour. I'll make the size maybe 0 0.20, 0 0.20 and then we can just resize it ourselves. So I'll probably have it like here, in which case I'll maybe make it I'll probably make it something like this, and then I'll have the text uh, white, and I'll just say, I'll, I'll scale it up, and we'll make this say, stop uh, jump, or something like that. Uh, we can make it bold if we'd like, and change the font, that's all up to you. I'm just going to leave it like this, and then I'll add in like a UI corner, because who doesn't like a bit of rounded user interface? Like so, this looks pretty good to me. And now we need to actually make this work. So we're going to add in a local script into this uh, button here. And to make this work, we're going to use something called the assembly linear velocity. Now, previously we would just use the velocity property, but that's been deprecated now and doesn't actually, um, it's not the standard anymore, but it's basically the velocity, it's the linear velocity of a part's assembly. And what an assembly is, it's basically one or it's basically a system of parts, multiple parts that are welded um, by a weld constraint or motor 60s or things like that, bones. Um, basically, we're going to be accessing the player's assembly. The player, by default, the player's character is an assembly. It's full of motor 60s and weld constraints and things like that. So we don't actually have to worry about any of that. I know this all sounds a bit complicated, it's a bit advanced, uh, playing around with physics here, but um, we are just simply going to be changing some values. We don't need to get into the crazy, you know, hard work stuff. Now in Roblox terms, the assembly linear velocity is the rate of change in position of the assembly's center of mass in studs per second. Now in real terms, of course, the velocity is the rate of change of displacement. Um, but they're basically equal here. Okay, so what we will do now is in this local script, let's say script.parent uh, mouse button one click, colon connect function. Um, and now when basically when this button's clicked, we want to set the player's linear velocity to zero. So we'll say local player equal at the top, local player equals game.players.local player. So first thing we need to do here is get uh, the local humanoid root part. So local HRP equals player dot character dot uh, humanoid root part, and if you don't, um, if you're using R15, it's humanoid root part. If you're using R6, it's upper torso, I believe. But uh, to check what you want, go to home game settings and avatar, and you can choose your avatar type. I recommend R15. If you're doing R6, I believe you have to do dot uh, upper torso like so but I'll just use R15 because it's more updated and now under here what we can say is HRP dot assembly linear velocity like so make sure you spell it exactly like that equals um, equals uh, vector free dot new and here we'll just for example say zero 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 okay so what this will do is set the linear velocity of the humanoid root part we always do it with the humanoid root part because that is the um, primary part of the character and it will set that velocity to zero. So if it's going up, the velocity is obviously not going to be zero because it's moving. So we set it to zero, 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 X, Y, Z, because that means it's just completely still, stops moving, and then gravity will play its part and it will fall back down. So if we were to now hit test and play, you'll see we've got loads of jump here. If, if we were to now hit stop jump, we start falling back down. And yeah, that is literally it. That's all there is to this stop jump button. So that is it, everyone. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. And goodbye.